Yesterday I asked you guys, name that feast that starts with the letter O. We gotta pump our brakes first because it's Sunday and I gotta get rid of all this leftover knick-knack foods in the fridge there. I think Tessa Hayes, shout out to Tessa Hayes, I think she requested chicken bacon ranch pizza. Let me show you how easy it is to make the best pizza dinner at home. Made in two hours, I'll say made in two hours. Don't blink. We'll start like this, pizza dough. One cup of warm water, to this warm water, we got after dry yeast, one tablespoon of this, to feed this beautiful yeast, we got that good old sugar, or BCAs now guys. <laughs> Mix this in. See all that beautiful foam there? Yeast activated. Two cups of flour going in, half a teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of olive oil. Get right into it guys, and all we're looking for, come on, we know this. It's a nice soft dough. Always look for a nice soft dough when you're making pizza dough. Come on, we know this. Once you got a nice soft dough, nothing to it, cover this and let it proof for 40 minutes. Here we go, we got two toppings for our pizza. So we got our chicken breast. So I got two pieces of chicken breast here. And 10 pieces of thick cut bacon on the other side. To season our chicken breast, we got that good old Old Bay seasoning. Gonna throw a tablespoon of this on. Tomato sauce we don't have to cook because this tomato sauce is from my last pizza recipe. So hopefully it's still good. <laughs> Meat toppings complete. Next, my leftover mozzarella. So I was gonna do mozzarella stick one day, but, or I don't even know where this come from. I think it was the Korean. Yeah, I think it was a Korean episode there. So I got some leftover cheese here. I'm gonna use it all up, guys. Don't waste anything. Bam, there it is. Leftover cheese, now grated. See that? See how fast that was? It is, 40 minutes in, dough has proof, little flour on the counter. Take your rice scooper, not rice scooper, dough scooper outer, almost slipped there guys. Let's scoop that baby out. So, all we're gonna do now, watch closely guys, new trick I learned, don't try this at home. See that? Look how clean that was. <laughs> Haters always gonna find something to hate about, right? So, all we're gonna do, take half of that piece there. We're gonna tuck this in and roll it into a nice, smooth dough like this. Pat it down. Pat it down. Just keep patting it down until you get a nice, round pizza shape. Okay, I gotta hold this POV action again, guys. You guys like this POV action, right? <laughs> all right, pat it out. All right, once you can't pat no more, take your roller, roll this out. So roll, quarter turn, roll, quarter turn, roll, quarter turn. Once you got your nice, beautiful round, all we're gonna do, throw this on one side here. For this other half, guys, we're gonna make some breadsticks. So very easy, square breadsticks. So all we're gonna do, how do you make a square out of this? Let's just roll this into a nice ball for us. Once you got a nice ball, a little flour on the counter, Roll this out to a nice square. Or a rectangle, actually. Put my whole arm into it. Now what we're gonna do, guys, we can't cry chop this because the cry chop is too dangerous, so I went out, guys, and got a knife. <laughs> and I'm just gonna cut it halfway. I'm not gonna cut it all the way, just halfway, guys, just to and glue the dent. Some bread sticks there. There it is. Toss it onto our plate. We're gonna let this proof for additional 40 minutes before we start setting everything up. As we let our dough rest, got two pounds of chicken wings here. I got some Old Bay. I'm gonna do one and a half tablespoon of this good Old Bay in there. Mix this in and let this marinate for 30 minutes. Or the longer it sits, the tastier it'll be, but we don't have time right now, all right? 30 minutes in, everybody in the pool. I don't care if they can swim. Guys, be careful because you will burn yourself. Like I said, hot oil and water don't mix. Please be careful when you guys do this. It's very hot. <laughs> Everybody in the pool. I don't care if they can swim. They just gotta get in. Again guys, let me repeat myself. Water and very hot oil does not mix. So you guys gotta be very, very, very careful when you're frying anything that contains a lot of water content into it. Frying time for this, 10 to 15 minutes. 15 minutes up, nothing to it. Take out your wings. Nice bar style, crispy wings, complete. 
Here I have some leftover honey garlic since I don't know when. <laughs> Probably since my last honey garlic wing video there. But I'm happy I'm using it all. And we're just tossing our wings. Nice, simple, beautiful, bar style honey garlic wings. Complete. 40 minutes in, our pizza and our breadstick has improved. Got some garlic butter here, which I'm just gonna garlic on. The thing I'm worried about right now, guys, is this garlic powder. I think this garlic powder is gonna burn in this oven here, but we're just gonna go ahead with it. YOLO, right, guys? YOLO. All right, I want a nice pizza crust as well. So I'm gonna garlic butter my pizza crust. Do this old pizza sauce. It still smells good, guys. It's still all good. I heard the longer tomato sits, the tastier it will be. Am I right? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm just gonna do some tomato sauce. I'm not gonna do it to the edge because I do want a nice crust on this pizza here. I want to do a thin layer of cheese first. It's a nice thin one, guys. Not so much. Throw on our chicken. And we got our bacon. We just got that all coated. Another thin layer of cheese. Then I got my oven preheated at 420 here. I got my rack at the second bottom there. And I'm just gonna throw this in for about 20 to 25 minutes. 25 minutes in, time to eat some pizza. Guys, I think I goofed it. I think I left it in a little too long. But I think it's still all good. I knew it, guys. See? See all that? What is that stuff called again? Garlic dust or garlic powder. All burnt. I don't know why I say garlic dust. <laughs> Who remember this? <laughs> this is the OG platter here. Only OGs will know. The newcomers, I don't think you know what this is. Yeah, it's a pizza board, but it's more than a pizza board. The OGs know. <laughs> Shout out to the OGs. All right, I'm gonna put this pizza on this platter. Look at that, just beautiful. I got everything set up, ready to go. Let's try to cut the perfect slice for this beautiful pizza here. POV action again, guys. How do they cut the pizza? This way. All right. It's a little challenging for me. There it is. Not your perfect pizza slices, but still all good. Last touches to this pizza, it's that ranch circle. Not too shabby. <laughs> Drop my wing. Romaine lettuce, washed and cut. I got this bacon Caesar dressing here, which I'm just gonna dollop up. Got some garlic butter croutons. I wanna say this is the best croutons ever, so if you guys are from Canada, try this brand, guys. Leftover bacon, too. Lastly, guys, some warm, delicious breadstick on the side. There it is, guys. Easy pizza dinner made at home. When are you guys gonna come by and grab some? Quick time, guys. Come through. All right, let me ask you guys this. Is this better than the o or the letter O feast that was coming up for, for today? <laughs> well, you guys don't even know what the O feast is. I'll do the O feast on Friday, this Friday here. So you guys still got plenty of time to guess what the O feast is. Start off with the Caesar salad. So I'm just gonna mix this up a bit. I don't know about you guys, but I don't really like a lot of dressing on my salad. I just want it, just a light coat on it. But I think I goofed it here and I put too much, but it's still all good, guys. As I drenched this in Caesar dressing. Okay, that's good. All right, salad first, guys. Help me eat the salad, guys. I kind of overdid it with the dressing, but Maybe it's still all good. Take the first bite of this. Quick time. Let's got it. Nice. I'm pumped for this. 
Mm? It's still all good. One thing I hate about this dressing. I was worried about this dressing being the bacon dressing. I felt like this bacon dressing is going to taste like the fake bacon. And guess what? It came out tasting like the fake bacon. It's still good, but I just don't like that fake bacon taste. Mm -hmm. Still tasty. Breadstick time. You see that? Right. Quick time. Nice. I'm pumped for this. It's warm and it's nice. Mmm. -hmm. Nice and soft. Not too bad for a leftover, eh? <laughs> I think the only thing I bought here was the two dressings, the bacon, and the croutons. Mmm. Yep. And everything else was leftovers. So thank you Tessa, I think it was Tessa Hayes for mentioning this. When I looked in the fridge, everything added up. I apologize, I put my fingers in this. I will take that part out. <laughs> hmm. Some of you guys be on my case every single day. <laughs> but I'm happy because I'm happy that you guys are after me. Because it's good to always practice good hygiene, right? Mmm. Mm-hmm. The bread and lettuce goes together very well. Tastes like a Caesar wrap bacon lettuce tomato sandwich without the tomatoes. That's bomb. To drink guys, I got some leftover Canadian dry. So I got like this much left for like three days or something. Guys, you guys want a sip? Come on. Good time. Let's go. Nice. I'm pumped for this. I love Canadian dry. I'll say if it wasn't for Mrs. Grace. Mrs. Grace ginger beer. This would have been first, but Mrs. Grace Ginger Beer is first. The Canadian Dry, second in my ginger ale. I love ginger ale. Let's go on in this chicken wings here. I've been craving chicken wings in a long time, guys. Here. Nice. Take the first bite of this. Best chicken wings you guys ever pop your mouth, I promise you. It's got it. Nice. I'm pumped for this. Mm-hmm. 
You can't go wrong with pup style chicken wings. You just can't. It's just so simple. Simple and delicious. That's what's best. Mm, 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 mm. Mm -hmm. Pizza time. So, the bottom looks legit. It's not as crispy as I want, but the color is what I wanted. Guys, nice. take the first bite of this. What is this pizza again? Tessa said, bacon, bacon chicken ranch pizza. I never heard it before, but here, guys. First time ever trying bacon ranch chicken pizza. You just got it. Nice. Look at this. I'm pumped for this. Mm-hmm. That's an awesome pizza. This, my friend, is love. <laughs> Look at my crust. See how soft it is? It's so soft. Mmm, 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 mmm. I'm happy I put the crust on. For some reason, I thought the crust would burn before the pizza get cooked. Mm hmm Mm-hmm. I think I'll buy another bacon though. Because this bacon is salty. <laughs> look how soft my dough is. Always look for a nice soft dough when you're making pizza dough. Come on. We know this. <laughs> That's love. Mm -hmm. Food and life is such a beautiful thing. Don't you think? Hope you guys enjoy this one. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Also, don't forget to pick up when your food and life is a beautiful thing. Shirts or a pop one. Like, share this.